Hi, I'm Jan. I'm Tracy, and we are here in Orlando, Florida. Now, last year, we spent 118 days on the MSC ship as we did the MSC Poesia on our world cruise. However, we have not been on an MSC ship for a year, but today... We are going to be on the MSC Seashore, and we're going to be in the Yacht Club. All right, so uh, we still have to pack up a little bit and drive to the port, so let's go. So we are here in the terminal and they have already identified us as Yacht Club, so we are definitely missing the traffic here. All right, so we got to the parking lot right about 30 minutes ago. Yeah, about 30 minutes ago. Uh, and we are already here in, uh, we got through the security. Uh, we got uh, through the uh, embarkation process. We're now in the Yacht Club uh, lounge area. It has Prosecco and also has cookies and soft drinks and orange juice and everything, which is very nice. We're just waiting for a butler to take us into the uh, Yacht Club. Oh, what they also do, by the way, is they give you a... When you get on board, and it gives you all the boarding instructions. So it sounds like we get to have a welcome aboard lunch. And it says our room should be ready around 1.30. And we get to do the compulsory fire drill. Okay, so about uh, 35 minutes ago, we parked in the uh, parking lot, and we are already have gone through uh, security. If we've gone through check-in, got our card, and we are now being escorted by our butler onto the MSC Seashore. The most favorite time on a cruise is getting on the ship. So I'm walking up the gangway and it's not really crowded right now. It was a little bit confused getting over here, but I think we are getting closer. Let's go. And we made it on board. They're gonna check our cards and then we're gonna go up to our room. So I thought we were going up to our room, but they are taking us to our muster stations. After much waiting, we have made it into the Yacht Club, uh, walking down this long hall from the concierge area, and I think that they're going to introduce us to the staff, and then we go to our room from there. All right, so uh, we've been on for a bit. Uh, we actually went and had a pretty decent lunch at the Yacht Club restaurant, which is pretty good. And now we're exploring the ship. has been very, um, it's functional. It's the smallest room. Um, it's smaller than we've had on a couple of other cruises, and yet it's just enough for a seven day cruise and the value proposition that came with the room. So we do not feel at 
all cramped in here. Uh, you have a nice, comfortable bed. Uh, we'll find out tonight. We'll figure that out. You have a nice little sitting area. You don't have a couch. You have a couple of uh, chairs. Uh, you have a vanity area that includes a coffee maker, which is nice. And the other thing is there's actually quite a bit of storage space. Uh, you have a nice uh, wardrobe. You have uh, some places, a lot of shelves. But you do have a small bathroom. There's not a lot of outlets. Now for Tracy and I, we need more outlets because we have you know camera gear and different things. We both bring our computers. Um, that's the one thing I wish they would have had a little bit better. But my gosh, for the price that we paid, we paid half what you're gonna have uh, in a regular ha haven and about just a little bit more than what you would have in a regular balcony here. We have all of the perks of, of the Yacht Club and they're pretty good perks. I agree. Then you have the a restaurant, the Yacht Club restaurant. And the Yacht Club restaurant, how would you describe that, Trace? Uh, I thought it was, it's it's better than the main dining room for sure. Um, it kind of hit and We miss, assume. We, we assume. assume. Um, we haven't been on it, but we've heard that the main dining room is not as good. Um, but we did like our dinner tonight. Yeah. Um, the, the dinner tonight, it's, it's, it's like a, I'm not going to oversell it. It's like a good main dining room. It's not a specialty level uh, to that, although we were very interested. The, uh, we were at lunch, we ate at the Yacht Club, and the chef came up to us, and before we actually recognized him, he says, do you recognize me? Uh, he is the same Yacht Club uh, restaurant chef that we had on the Preziosa, which is all the way back in September 22. The fact that you have a chef that remembers us. So tomorrow night, he is going to make a special Indian dish for us, which is exactly what he did for the Preziosa, which is nice. Uh, but as Tracy I, uh, said, this is a value proposition. Uh, for the price what you have, you have all the amenities of the Yacht Club. Uh, you have the, uh, I mean, it's just, it's just a fantastic time. So uh, maybe the food is not as good as we've had on other lines, but we certainly didn't pay that uh, the the amount that we've had on other lines. Um, I'm really excited about this cruise. So I'll tell you what, tomorrow we are going to uh, Ocean K or Ocean Key. Depends upon how you pronounce it. I think it's supposed to be Ocean Key, but we'll see. Uh, but anyway, we're going to do that. We're very interested in that. It's the first time we've done that. Um, and then we'll continue on, on the uh, MSC Seashore through the Caribbean. So while we keep on traveling, why don't you do the same and watch this video as we go to the uh, Ocean Key. And as always, keep on traveling.